Hello YouTube. No, but really. Hey guys. Uh, today I just wanted to do a quick comparison video between the new L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara and the Too Faced Better Than Sex. Um, if you don't know, Better Than Sex is like one of my favorite, all time favorite mascaras. I really do like it. I think it's great. But does have a price tag of about $23. When you're supposed to be buying a new mascara every couple of months, that can get a little pricey. Um, normally I don't really like the L'Oreal mascaras. I like to stick with the Maybelline. They just, I just tend to like their formulas better. They have a little bit drier formula and that's what I like as opposed to the wet formulas that um, L'Oreal normally has. But I decided to check out this mascara. I will show you the packaging in case you're on the hunt for it because it took me a while to find it. So this is what the package actually looks like. Very cute packaging and it's got the little anime eyes all over the package. In case you don't know what manga is, I believe it's a Japanese style of animation. And let's just drop it on the floor. It's a Japanese style of animation where they have the really big doll eyes and lashes and stuff like that. If I'm wrong, feel free to correct me below, but that's what I believe it is. Um, this stuff I found, I believe, at Walgreens, and I've seen it at Walmart. I know at my Walmart it runs about $7, and... Um, I will, what I'm going to do is show you sort of a demo, I will do, I've applied, right now I'm wearing lashes so this doesn't count, but in the video I've applied the Better Than Sex on this side and the Miss Manga on this side, and I will show you the brushes and how they apply and everything like that. So if you'd like to see the differences between the two, then just keep on watching. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and slightly curl my lashes with this very strange looking curler. And I'm starting off with the Too Faced Better Than Six. That is what the brush looks like. It sort of goes in towards the center and comes out on the top and the bottom. It is the sort of old school style bristles. I don't know if they're metal or, or what exactly they're made of, but it is not the rubbery um, silicone-y type of bristles that a lot of brushes have these days. So. Um, it is definitely the old school ones. The only issue that I have with this this brush is that it is a little large when you're trying to get into your bottom lashes. So I normally don't apply this mascara to my bottom lashes. Um, I normally just stick to the top, but that is one coat. And now we're going to go ahead and move on to coat number two. That's two coats of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm going to go ahead and curl my other lashes and apply the L'Oreal Miss Manga on the other side. I noticed I didn't really show you much of the brush, I was just showing you the bendy wand, which I don't really understand when it comes to mascaras, but for what it's worth, this does have a bendy wand if that's going to change your mind about buying it. Um, I don't see that it makes much of a difference, and I'm not sure if you can tell, but this wand, on this wand, the bristles are similar to the Too Faced Better Than Sex, the same type of bristles. But you can see that it does taper in at the end, and I find that that really helps get into the inner corners and grab onto the outer corners and stuff. But um, if you're not careful when you're pulling it out of the tube, because it tapers in so much, it does kind of collect on that end, so you have to wipe off that excess. Otherwise, it does start to get a little clumpy on the lashes. But that is one coat, and now I'm going to go ahead and go in with coat number two.
So here you can see both side by side. On your left is the Too Faced Better Than Sex, and on your right is the L'Oreal Miss Manga. I actually kind of like the way the L'Oreal Miss Manga looks. The lashes look a little bit more separated. On the left, they kind of look... Once you get towards the end, they kind of look a little crazy. Um, so I did like the way that the Miss Manga applied just a little bit better than the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Okay, so my final thoughts. I really do love the L'Oreal Miss Manga Mascara. I think it will probably replace the Too Faced Better Than Sex for me, mainly because of the price point. $7 compared to $23, that's a huge difference, definitely a money saver. And I really think that it stacks up. It, I mean, it gives um, a lot of volume, in my opinion. Gives just about the same amount of volume as the Too Faced, and it does have the same kind of clumpy, kind of spidery lash effect. Like if you put on more than two coats, it does get a little bit spidery. So I tend to stick to two coats, um, but I definitely do like it. I definitely think it compares. I would recommend it. It does wash off easily. I didn't see that there was like a waterproof or non waterproof formula. This was the only one that I saw, um, but it does wash off easily. I haven't noticed, I mean I have worn it before, I haven't noticed that it flakes or anything like that. And so yeah, I would definitely recommend this if you're on the hunt for a new mascara and you don't want to pay for a high end. I would definitely say that this is comparable to the Better Than Sex Mascara. So definitely give it a try if you're on the hunt. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you found this helpful.